What's up everybody, Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to another question with vectors. We have to represent the vector with a magnitude of eight and a direction 30 degrees clockwise to the positive axis in Cartesian form. So, let's draw the Cartesian plane here. And we have a vector that has a magnitude of eight and it's 30 degrees clockwise to the positive x-axis. So it's going to be right here. And this is going to be 30 degrees. 30 degrees to the positive x-axis clockwise. And this vector here has a magnitude of 8. And we have to represent it in Cartesian form, meaning that we have to represent it as x, y, where the tail is at the origin, 0, 0, and the head is going to be at x and y. So how can we represent it like this given this information? Well, notice that we can make a right angle triangle. We can take this vector, add this vector to give us this resultant vector. And this is just a right angle triangle. So notice that we can even just draw this here. Like that and this has a magnitude of eight. So really, all we have to do is solve for this, solve for the x value, solve for the y value, and that would be this here. So to solve for the x value, notice that we would use cos, so we go cos of 30 equals x over eight. And cos of 30, if you remember your special triangles, so 30 degrees is root three, one and two. So it'd be root three over two equals x over eight. And then cross multiplying, we'd have two x equals eight root three. Divide both sides by two, eight divided by two would be four. So we'd have four root three. So that is the x value. What about the y value? Well, the y value we would use sine. So we go sine of 30 equals y over eight, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. And we know sine of 30 is one over two. So when we cross multiply and solve for y, we'd have eight equals two y, divide both sides by two, so y would be four. All right, so the x value is four root three, and then the y value is four. However, notice that we are in the fourth quadrant where all the x values are positive. We already have that as positive, but notice that all the y values are negative. So we know this is gonna have a y value of negative four. And that is this vector represented in Cartesian form, four root three and negative four.